Most of us learn to use the toilet by the time we're three and we've mastered it by five. But we have it really easy down here on Earth. Gravity helps move things along, we have water to flush everything away, we have massive sites to get rid of all the waste and clean the water before sending it all back out. There are a lot more problems when you try and go to the toilet in space. So, how do astronauts go to the toilet? How is everything flushed away? And how do they cope with zero gravity? So NASA has some of the smartest engineers in the world. But surprisingly, the first NASA mission to take man into space didn't include any toilet facilities. You see, the mission was only supposed to last around 15 minutes, but there were some delays at the beginning of the mission, and so Alan Shepard had to sit on board the rocket for several hours while they were waiting to fix the problems. In this time, he said the immortal words, I need to pee, to mission control. But there was nothing they could do. There were no toilets on board, and they couldn't take him back off the rocket. So, unsurprisingly, he just had to pee into his suits. But after this awkward incident, NASA decided there had to be a better way to allow astronauts to go to the toilet. Especially because missions would get much longer and there's more of a need for astronauts to go to the toilet during the mission. But the first ways NASA came up with going to the toilet in space weren't much better than just peeing in your suit. For number ones, you had to pee into a pouch and this went into a long hose. You then turned the valve and this released all the urine into space. It must have been pretty worrying that you didn't turn the valve slightly too early. And for number twos, well, you just kind of went into a plastic bag. And these are obviously really undignified, and astronauts always describe them not liking the process altogether, and it being very uncomfortable. But thankfully, space agencies have made this whole process a bit more pleasant in recent years. So what are some of the problems you face when trying to go to the toilet in space? Well, zero gravity is one of the biggest problems. So you've probably all seen videos of astronauts batting around the large droplets of water. The droplets of water just float around the International Space Station and you can poke them, bat them and move them around. Thankfully, a lot of the International Space Station is protected from water droplets. Apart from the really important controls and things, if water touches it, it's not going to be too bad. But imagine instead of water, there are droplets of pee floating around the International Space Station. This is definitely not something you want to happen. And while we're talking about zero gravity, how do you ensure that all the astronauts are kept sat down in the toilet seat while they're going? You don't want to be going to the toilet while floating around the International Space Station because this is going to get really messy. And also, what happens to all the waste that's been created? The International Space Station has been up there for around 14 years. So what happened to all the human waste that's been created throughout all those years? And what do you do with it? Well, they may know how to use the toilet down here on Earth, but before they go to the International Space Station, astronauts have to relearn how to use the toilet, and specifically the International Space Station toilets. They have to go through extensive training of learning how to correctly sit on top of the toilet. But number ones are much easier than this. Every astronaut, male and female, has their own funnel. And they attach this onto the end of a suction hose, and they simply just have to pee into the funnel, and all the water and the moisture and the urine is sucked up into this tube, and it's sent into a storage unit. Number two is a similar process. Instead of a water flush like we have down here on Earth, a suction tube is used at the bottom of the toilet to suck up all the waste. A water flush can't be used because all the water droplets will start floating around the International Space Station, which definitely isn't something you want to start happening. But also, how do the astronauts remain sat down on the toilet? Well, actually, there's a bar that comes across their waist, like you have on a roller coaster when you're sat down there to hold you down. And this keeps them firmly attached to the seat of the toilet so they don't start floating away while they're using it. So what happens to all the waste that's collected? Well, don't worry, it's not going to fall on your head because they don't just throw it out the side of the International Space Station. In fact, what they do is they recycle it. They recycle all the water that was within the urine and the feces. And this actually goes back through a cycle and it's cleaned and the astronauts drink it again. So barely any of the water is ever wasted on the International Space Station. In fact, the astronauts on board say the water tastes just as good as it is down here on Earth. And all the solid material? Well, that's just sent back down on Earth from the cargo ships that bring cargo back up to the International Space Station, like food supplies and so on. And when it goes back down to Earth, they put all this waste material on and it's brought back down. But how do astronauts go to the toilet when they're not on board the International Space Station? Sometimes they might have to go outside to do some experiments or repairs to the outside. And this can take several hours, much longer than you can hold in for. Well, under their spacesuits, they're actually wearing giant diapers or nappies. In fact, these are called maximum absorbency garments. But they're basically just giant nappies or diapers. And all they have to do is just go into these diapers, and then when they get off, they just take them back off and get back into their nice clean clothes. It's not much better than it originally was when you just had to pee into your spacesuit, but it's a bit less messy. To lessen the effects of astronauts not being near a toilet, NASA's come up with a really novel way of astronauts producing less waste. 
they put them on a really high protein diet and protein is absorbed much better by the body so it produces much less waste meaning that astronauts don't need to go to the toilet as much. So there you have it. Going to the toilet in space can be rather difficult but it's definitely much better than it used to be when astronauts first went up into space. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the rest of my channel and the rest of my videos. Like, subscribe, leave any comments at the bottom of the video. I really appreciate it. And check me out on Twitter at UKAstronaut. But otherwise, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all soon. Asteroids have a bit of a bad name for themselves. After all, they did kill the dinosaurs and Bruce Willis in Armageddon. And hundreds of asteroids every year potentially cause danger to us by passing very close to the Earth. However, there are some really good positives of asteroids. 